little kitty. I totally understand your frustration towards these bloodthirsty insects. But wiping them all out of extinction could be a tricky task. Why? Well, let me explain it to you and our lovely audience. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us explore the possibility of a world without mosquitoes and answer a crucial question. What if all mosquitoes disappeared? Zoom in! Mosquitoes they are a part of a large group of insects called flies and are found everywhere in the world, including in your houses. You won't believe it, but they are the most dangerous predator on the planet, responsible for the death of millions every year as they spread diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, dengue, Zika, etc through their itchy bites. And how do they bite? We already have a detailed video on this topic. Do check out the link in the description. And because of their blood sucking, biting, itching qualities, mosquitoes are often considered nightly bedside terror. And most people wish that the world is better without them and they should be eradicated once for all. So let us see what would happen if one day all the mosquitoes decide to quit the earth and disappear out of existence. First, we need to understand not all mosquitoes bite. Yes, out of the 3,500 species of mosquitoes, only 100 go after humans, while the rest stay away from us, happily feeding on plant and fruit nectar. So it means if we get rid of all mosquitoes, it's eventually going to harm our planet's ecological balance. Yes, as many mosquitoes play a crucial role in the pollination process, their absence will adversely affect these plants and flowers, leading to a decrease in their growth in the long run. Next, as many species like lizards, frogs and fish depend on mosquitoes for their daily diet, there is a possibility of them going extinct without the presence of mosquitoes. Still, many scientists believe their absence would not be missed as other species would take the place of mosquitoes. And the predators could naturally switch to other insects that are easily available. Although, this argument is debatable. But what everyone is sure about is that in certain water bodies, the removal of mosquitoes could pose a problem. Yes. When an insect drowns in the water, midges chew up their carcasses while the mosquito larvae step in to feed on the waste products. This process produces nutrients that are important for the plants. So, if mosquitoes disappear, it will negatively impact marine life. So, in conclusion, Instead of focusing on eradicating the entire mosquito species, we should put our energy into modifying the genetic codes of those specific breeds responsible for all the diseases and deaths. And fortunately, the efforts are already being made. Yes, a team of scientists in California inserted modified genes in the Anopheles mosquitoes a species responsible for spreading malaria. These altered genes cause the mosquito to kill the malaria-causing parasite living inside their body before transmitting them to humans. Now, that's an intelligent solution! Trivia time! Did you know the average mosquito lifespan is less than two months? And you won't believe it, but female mosquitoes lay up to 300 eggs at a time. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. 
until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.